And joining us to provide more perspective on these sanctions is Dr. Hushong Amir Ahmadi, and he is the founder and president of the American Iranian Council, and he joins us now live from New York. Um, uh, doctor, let me get your thoughts on this. Uh, obviously, the United States really trying to put a stranglehold, uh, really beating up on the real. This is another move in that direction, uh, further crippling the economy. What, what do you think is uh, going to be the lasting effect of this? Well, Iran is a very wealthy country and is a very open country. Iran has 15 land and sea neighbors. Uh, there is always a way for Iran to avoid uh, uh, the sanctions and avoid uh, some of these restrictions. And it has been done, doing so for a long time, and they have learned how to live with sanctions. And uh, I believe this will also be managed and I don't think that the Iran will be forced into uh, accepting a deal with the U.S. simply because of the sanctions. The sanctions are impacting the economy, the people, but certainly not the government. The Iranian government uh, is doing as well as it used to do, uh, you know, in the past. And I think as long as the government is doing well, uh, nothing will change. There's a, a game here in the United States that's popular at amusement parks. It's called Whack-A-Mole. Uh, they hit the mole, but another one pops up in another direction. I almost get the thought that that's sort of what's happening in Iran. Uh, you know, they hit them here, and then you see gold uh, pop up as, as a, the form of currency to kind of get around things. How will the people mm -hmm. try and skirt these latest sanctions, or is there a way to do it? Well, again, uh, uh, a lot of Iran's international trade has gone underground. A lot of uh, illicit trading is taking place. A lot of Iranian merchants have become sanction busters. And a lot of uh, businessmen outside and inside the country, foreign and domestic, are dealing in uh, inappropriate trade practices, unfortunately. But then again, uh, if you wanted to survive, you just have to do whatever it takes. Uh, and I think. Uh, the sanctions are also, uh, what I'm saying, creating illegality, immorality, and unethical uh, trade practices across the borders with the country. I think uh, uh, and, and, and that's, the, that's the only major impact I see. Unfortunately, otherwise, the sanctions are not having the kind of impact that they are designed for, and that is to stop Iran from enriching uh, nuclear or, or, or compromising with the West on its enrichment uh, program. I think uh, perhaps the time has come for the U.S. to rebalance its coercive diplomacy of just sanctioning and sanctioning in the direction of perhaps opening up serious engagement and dialogue with Iran as well. I think with the new administration in Tehran soon to be in power, I think there is a window of opportunity that the U.S. needs to uh, use uh, for this uh, engagement purpose. Well, the time is very uh, short, and the window could c quickly close. Well, let me, let me uh, kind of piggyback off what you just said. I mean, here you have a, a, a moderate uh, who, who seems willing to at least uh, discuss things with the United States. The timing of this, uh, in many respects, couldn't be worse, could they? That's right. In fact, Mr. Rouhani had hoped that uh, the U.S. will give uh, him uh, or uh, his people a reward as opposed to punishing him from the very start. I mean, obviously, this news of new sanctions today announced is not going to be received well in Iran, and they will have a, 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 an effect on the Mr. Uh, Rouhani's morality, perhaps, uh, you know, and his enthusiasm well, uh, for a new opening. It's just not the right, right. thing to do and the not right time. Well, but then again, I believe the U.S. is not really uh, thinking of mending relations with Iran. Well, they Dr. really wanted to Dr. force that government I'm, out. I'm sorry. We're going to have to leave it there. We've run out of time. But thank you so much for joining us from New York. Certainly appreciate it. My pleasure, it. sir.